Hello everyone, my name is Chris from the team working on Warhammer Chaos Bane. Today, we're going to take a look at the first Warhammer Fantasy Hack and Slash. The story takes place shortly after the Great War Against Chaos. Just as the Empire of Man finally seems to be out of the clutches of danger, a new threat emerges that will upset the balance of power. And it's up to you and your allies to confront it. Our journey begins in the sewers of Nom, the current imperial capital. As you can see, the sewers are infested by servants of the god Nurgle, the chaos god of disease and decay. A number of his minions have come to greet us, including Nurglings, cultists, and the ever unpredictable chaos spawn. I'm playing as a captain of the empire, Conrad Volan. Volan is strong and tenacious, an ideal character if you enjoy melee combat. In Warhammer Chaos Bane, each class has its own unique gameplay style and a variety of skills that complement that style and the other classes. As a melee specialist, the Imperial Captain can endure a lot of damage, apply crowd control, and turn large hordes of enemies to his and his allies' favor. Speaking of allies, it would be good to have some ranged support to dish out some extra damage. So, I'm going to invite a friend to join my party in local co-op. All he needs to do is pick up a controller and press a button. There. I've been joined by the High Elf Elantir. Elantir is a mage who deals a lot of damage from a distance. However, he is much weaker in melee combat and has to keep his enemies at bay by using all the spells in his arsenal. Each class has its own unique ability. Elantir is able to control the placement of all of his spells and redirect them on a whim. You'll face various monsters in the game, whether the weaker Nurglings or more powerful foes like Chaos Spawn and Beast of Nurgle. You'll need to come up with unique strategies to defeat these creatures. Next up is a very powerful foe. Mutilifs are abominations. Mutated by the power of chaos and infused with magic, making them much more difficult to defeat. To help, we'll activate Bloodlust, a devastating skill that gives you extra speed and new powers for a limited time. The duration and number of new skills is based on your Bloodlust level, so you'll have to choose the best time to unleash your fury. It takes time to create a legend. They don't just appear from out of nowhere. Beginning is a distant murmur and building to a crescendo. Ordinary people with extraordinary talents. They move us, amaze us, and sometimes achieve the unforgettable. They write history one event at a time, inspiring those who follow. With each trial, each battle, and each victory, they craft a legacy that will be remembered long after they're gone. And that legacy remains victorious in spite of history.
Well done. Kaito-san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. I'm Takayuki Yagami. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. What are you up to? Paranoid, aren't you? Whoa! Oh, you're kidding me. Where are you going, little guy? Hold up! You won't get away! Come on! Pigeon? On it. What the? Hold on, hold on. That's him. Maybe I could go undercover. Bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. Sasatonuke Aomaru is a jinjoni. Like you need to wish you ハピー。はい。いや、その身に刻み込め。命。この。私の剣を望みくね。さまよう。殺す。上等だ。高徳少年だね。あんたも殺す気に用事かい。奇遇だね。どこまで届いた。逃がさない。押してない。まだ立て